Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been staying at a £1,200 a night luxury hotel during their trip to Rome for Michian Anu's wedding, Mail Online can reveal. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have holed up in the exclusive Hotel Villan, a stone's throw from some Italy's most famous landmarks including the Spanish Steps and Trevi Fountain. They were guests of honor at an intimate pre-wedding lunch hosted by Meghan's best friend Misha and her husband-to-be, ahead of the spectacular ceremony. Fashion designer Misha and oil tycoon Mikey Hess invited a small lunch for her closest friends Dash including the Sussexes, at the Cine City Film Studios where the married couple are hosting a star-studded gala dinner this evening. Rome Daily newspaper Il Messagro reported, a few hours before the wedding Misha hosted a small lunch for her and Michael's closest friends at the Cine City Film Studios where they will hold a starlight dinner this evening. Meanwhile details of the boutique bolt hole where the royal couple have been enjoying their Roman holiday have emerged. This place has been crawling with cops the past three days. I was starting to wonder who was staying at the hotel. Market trader Simona Moglioco added, There have been plainclothes police outside the hotel for days. They have been standing around trying not to act suspicious but we all know what's going on, there are celebrities staying at the hotel. But it was only yesterday that I found out it was Meghan and your Prince Harry. I think she's really nice, Ms. Moglioco added, as she cleaned and prepared bunches of rocket salad for her family fruit and veg stall. Meghan and Harry are believed to have spent their two-night stay in the Borghese A suite of the boutique hotel, which has been completely booked out for the duration of the three-day wedding celebrations. The second-floor suite features a king-size bed, and private sitting room furnished with Art Deco furniture. They had the run of a 23-square-meter marble bathroom, equipped with a walk-in double rain shower, double sink and freestanding bath. Two large windows lead from the master bedroom to a furnished 13-square-meter private terrace with a view of secret gardens below. The royal couple are believed to have checked into the Hotel Villon late on Thursday evening and are expected to return to London today, Saturday. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will fly to Africa tomorrow. Meghan is expected to begin the visit by adding her voice to the thousands who have spoken out about the rising violence against women in South Africa. Meghan, who is a champion of gender equality, is likely to raise the issue in her tour of South Africa with husband Harry and their son Archie starts on Monday. The couple's first event will be a visit to a township in Cape Town, where they will tour a workshop that provides a range of services to young people, including self-defense classes and female empowerment training to young girls in the community. Campaigners took to the streets of Cape Town earlier this month to protest at what they claimed was their government's failure to deal with the problem, following a series of attacks that have shocked the African nation. It is understood Meghan and Harry watched the South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's address to his country following days of protests, when he acknowledged the African nation was facing a national crisis of violence against women. The former actress is an active humanitarian campaigner particularly on the topic of gender equality, who has spoken about women's empowerment. Meghan's activism famously started at a young age. At 11 she forced a soap manufacturer to alter an advert after she wrote a letter to then First Lady Hillary Clinton and other high-profile figures complaining that it implied women belonged in a kitchen. The Sussexes' first tour as a family comes after the Duke and Duchess flew to Rome to watch Meghan's close friend, fashion designer Michian Anu. Mary oil tycoon Michael Hess on Friday. Among the guests at the lavish celebration were Harry's cousins Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice, U.S. President Donald Trump's daughter Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner, and actor James Corden. Harry will travel to Angola during his Africa tour, to pay homage to Diana's work campaigning for landmines to be outlawed during a visit she made to the country in 1997. A post about the tour on the Royals' official Instagram account said, The Duke is especially proud to continue the legacy left by his mother with her work in Angola as he joins Halo Trust again in an effort to rid the world of landmines. Harry will also pay tribute to a British soldier killed by an elephant during anti-poaching operations in Malawi when he visits the country to focus attention on efforts to protect endangered animals. 
highlights of the trip will see the Duke and Duchess visit a township near Johannesburg where they will learn about a project tackling rising unemployment. The royals will visit Africa from September 23 to October 2, and while Meghan and Archie will spend the duration in South Africa, Harry will leave his family to tour Angola, Malawi and Botswana before being reunited with them in Johannesburg. A Buckingham Palace spokeswoman said, The Duke of Sussex's love for Africa is well known, he first visited the continent at the age of 13 and more than two decades later, the people, culture, Wildlife and resilient communities continue to inspire and motivate him every day. Harry's first trip came in the months after Diana's death in 1997 when his father the Prince of Wales took him to the continent to get away from it all, the Duke has said. Meghan, who is making her first visit to South Africa, and Harry both admire South Africa's former President Nelson Mandela and have already met members of his family in the UK. Towards the end of their visit they will be introduced to the statesman's widow Grossa Michel, who met the Duke when he visited South Africa in 2015, before an audience with President Cyril Ramaphosa and his wife Chpomotsp.